Hi boys, so in the last video that I had sent you all, we learned that there are four kinds of gender in the English language, right? So that was masculine gender, feminine gender, common gender and neuter gender. Now today, we are going to learn about the different ways of forming the feminine of nouns. Now there are three ways of forming the feminine of nouns. The first way is by making a change of word. Now bachelor is a masculine gender. When we have to convert it to the feminine gender, we make a change of word. So the feminine form is mate. Similarly, husband is a masculine gender. The feminine gender of it is wife, father, mother, fox, vixen, stag, doe, gander, goose, bull, cow, horse, mare, king, queen. So this is the first way of changing the masculine gender to feminine gender and that is by a change of word. The second way of changing the masculine gender into the feminine gender is by simply adding ESS at the end of the masculine gender. Lion is a masculine gender. If we have to change it to the feminine gender, we add ESS, it becomes lioness. Similarly, poet becomes poetess, priest becomes priestess, author, authoress, prince, princess, Shepherd, shepherdess, host, hostess, giant, giantess, count, countess, baron, baroness. Now, what happens is sometimes the form is slightly changed before ESS is added. Prior to this, what we did was we simply added the word ESS to the masculine gender, right? But here, what we'll do is we'll make some slight changes. Notice the spellings that change. The first word God is a masculine gender. When we change it to the feminine gender, what we do is G-O-D, God remains the same. We add one more D and then we put in ESS at the end. Similarly, in actor, we remove the O and then we make it A-C-T-R-E-S-S, -S, actress. Similarly, hunter, huntress, emperor, empress, tiger, tigress, master, mistress, duke, duchess, governor, governess, director, directress, founder, foundress, headmaster, headmistress, inspector, inspect, so what we did here was we did not just put an ESS at the end but we made some slight changes in it. Now the third way of changing the masculine into the feminine form is by changing the word before or after the noun. So gentleman becomes gentlewoman, stepfather, stepmother, son-in-law, daughter-in-law, Milkman, milkmaid, landlord, landlady, godfather, godmother, fisherman, fisherwoman, peacock, peahen, buck rabbit, doe rabbit, he goat, she goat. Now there are a few exceptions meaning that these words when we convert it from masculine to the feminine form do not follow the three rules that we stated above. So, the words are hero, which is a masculine form, when it is changed into feminine form becomes heroine. Widower is a masculine form, the feminine form is widow. Lad, lass, bridegroom, bride, wizard, witch, sir, madam, mister, missus. Besides the examples that were used in this video, I want you all to refer to the other examples that are given in page number 60 and 61 of your English 1 textbook. And after that, a few other examples will be sent in the form of a document. I want you all to please note it down in your English 1 notebook and then learn it and then do the assignments that have been given.